External validity. One way to improve the external validity of an evaluation is to make sure that the experimental sample is representative of the target population. It's about the generalizability of the evaluation. When you think about the external validity of a study, you want to answer the question of how useful the evaluation will be to guide future programs in similar context. Ideally, you will like to be able to use your evaluation results as a prediction to scale up a program or export it abroad. On the technical side, the message I want to transmit about external validity is that the largest the experimental sample, the better it will represent the target population. To what extent the experimental sample is representative? That depends on the data, its variation and nature. But as a general rule, large samples are better. Unfortunately, data is expensive and budget constraints are major determinants of the experimental sample size. How big is big enough is a matter that we will discuss later when we talk about power calculation. Let me illustrate the idea of the external validity using an example. Our current experimental sample contains 300 households out of 583, which is about 51%. I'm going to create a smaller experimental sample, let's say of 20 households, that's around 3 point something percent. The new dummy variable is experiment 20. Let me draw a graphic overlapping the density of household consumption in three different sets. The entire survey, all the observations that we have, the large experimental sample of 300 households, that's when the variable experiment equals to 1, and the small experimental sample that we just created with 20 households. In order to recognize each plot, because we are going to have three densities in the same figure, I am also going to set the option legend and overwrite the default key. The first label is for the survey sample, the second label for the large experimental sample, and the third density is the small experimental sample. The lines are not very easy to distinguish. Let me add the option L pattern to make a dashed line on the second plot and another short dashed line on the third plot. The solid blue line comes from the survey data. The red dashed line comes from the large experimental sample with 300 and it's quite similar. Then the green line comes from the small experimental sample which does not fit the survey sample very well. Well, this might not be the best example but what is true is that the biggest the experimental sample the better it will mirror the target population. The magic of the randomization is that not only the variables that we observe will be similar. The theory tells us that even the variables that we cannot observe, ability, motivation, social networks, etc., will also tend to have the same mean as the target population. A final comment, you can always be critic about the external validity of an evaluation. You can always say, this program works in Bangladesh, but who knows if it will work in another country, or is not even sure that it will work in Bangladesh a few years later. Then the evaluation has not external validity. Well, if that's the way you look at every evaluation, this is impossible to have any reference points to guide future policy.